Bonjour les élèves de Français 4. Dans cette vidéo, nous allons continuer à faire une révision du passé, du, du temps passé, et nous allons spécifiquement étudier ou bien réviser euh, le temps de l'imparfait et nous allons apprendre comment utiliser l'imparfait et le passé composé dans la même phrase. Alors, voilà les cibles d'apprentissage. Je peux communiquer à l'imparfait avec tous les styles de verbes. Je peux parler des actions habituelles ou répétées, ainsi que des actions progressives toutes au passé. Je peux raconter des histoires et décrire des événements du passé en utilisant le passé composé et l'imparfait dans la même phrase. Alors, nous allons commencer euh, par faire la révision de l'imparfait. The imperfect is used to describe. So, we're going to review the use of the imperfect or how to make the imperfect in a, uh, of a verb. And then, uh, we will uh, start looking when do we use the passé composé and when do we use the imperfect in the same sentence. D'accord? So, let's start with the révision de l'imparfait. Uh, the per imperfect is used to describe what people used to do or what used to be. Voilà un exemple. Quand j'étais petit, when I was little, je jouais au Monopoly. I used to play Monopoly. So, these sentences contain two verbs in the imperfect. It also is used to describe what people were doing or what was going on, what was happening. Here's uh, some examples. Hier soir, je n'étais pas chez moi. Last night, I was not home. Je dînais avec un copain. I was having dinner with a friend. So it does talk about what was happening, what people were doing, what was going on. Give you the formation of the imperfect. For the ER verb, regular ER verb, uh, for the verbs like faire and for the reflexive verbs. For dîner, we drop the ER and we add A-E-S, A-E-S, A-E-T, O-N-S, I-E-Z, A-I-E-N-T, and we'll have je dînais, tu dînais, ils, elles ont dîné, nous dînions, vous dîniez, ils et elles dînaient. Pour faire, we start with je faisais, tu faisais, ils, elles ont faisait, nous faisions, vous faisiez, et ils et elles faisaient. For reflexive verbs like se promener, je me promenais, tu te promenais, ils, elles ont se promenaient. Nous nous promenions, vous vous promeniez, ils et elles se promenaient. So the imperfect stem is formed as follows. Uh, no form of the present tense minus the ons, d'accord? So here for visiter, je visitais. For finir, the imperfect starts with je finissais. Pour, pour vendre, je vendais. Avoir, j'avais. Faire, je faisais. Aller, j'allais. Être, j'étais. And I'll let you go through the rest of the verbs. Savoir, je savais. Prendre, je prenais. Voir, je buvais. Écrire, j'écrivais. Voir, je voyais. Connaître, je connaissais. Être is the only verb with an irregular imperfect stem. It's it. It. So, être on its own and the infinitive takes an accent circumflex. But for the imparfait, it's it. J'étais, tu étais, il était, nous étions, vous étiez, ils étaient. A-I-E-N-T, like so. Now, We have reviewed the passé composé and we have reviewed the formation of the imparfait. Next, we're going to examine each tense, when we do use each tense, and when, uh, how, how do we use them in the same sentence to express different ideas of the past, of past events, of things that happened in the past tense. And then we will study le passé simple. La description d'un événement, le passé composé et l'imparfait. The following sentences tell about an incident. These sentences give the main facts. So, main events will use the passé composé. J'ai vu un accident. Une voiture est rentrée dans un arbre. A car hit a tree. J'ai téléphoné à la police. I called the police. Qui est arrivé immédiatement? Who arrived immediately? So, all these are main events. We use the passé composé. Le passé composé tells what happened and narrates the action. 
It's used to describe specific events and the actions which constitute the storyline. D'accord? So keep that in mind as we are uh, comparing the passé composé to the imparfait. Let's talk about the imparfait. The following sentences tell about an accident. These sentences describe the scene and the background. Background and description, we use l'imparfait like so. C'était samedi soir. It was Saturday. Il était 8 heures. It was 8 uh, a.m. Il pleuvait. It was raining. La visibilité était mauvaise. The visibility was bad. So all of this is a background and the description of the scenery. J'allais à un rendez-vous. I was going to a uh, meeting. Je voulais être à l'heure. I wanted to be on time. Uh, C'était une voiture de sport and so forth. Le conducteur était un jeune homme blond. The conductor was a blonde young, young man. Le jeune homme ne portait pas de ceinture de sécurité. The young man wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Il était légèrement blessé. He was lightly injured. Now we're going to see how the imperfect sets the scene and gives the background. Imperfect is used to describe external conditions like the date, the weather, the time, the scenery. It also takes care of the descriptions of the characters like their age, their physical traits, their health, their attitude, their appearance, their clothing, their feeling, their intentions. And it describes the background activities, what uh, people were doing and what was going on. In describing a past event, we may use both the passé composé and the imperfect, imparfait, in the same sentence. Uh, the specific actions or ongoing, what do we use, what people did. So let's compare this to the progressive actions, what was happening. So let's see how we're going to express specific actions and progressive actions, uh, what people did, what was happening in the same sentence. Let's look at this example. J'ai vu un accident pendant que j'attendais le bus. I saw an accident while or as I was waiting for the bus. Do you see the difference? Here's another example. Le cambrioleur est entré pendant que les voisins dormaient. The thief entered the house pendant que while the neighbors were sleeping. Quand Tu as téléphoné, je, re, je regardais la télé. Uh, when you called, I was watching TV. So, specific, progressive. So, regardez, I was taking my time watching TV. The action was progressive, it extended in time. While tu as téléphoné, the telephoning action came and interrupted the act of watching the television. Quand l'orage a commencé, nous nous promenions. So notice the imparfait promenion. When the storm started, we were uh, taking a walk. J'ai observé un oiseau qui chantait dans un arbre. Tu as pris une photo de ton cousin qui faisait de la planche à voile. You took a picture of your cousin who was sailing. Now, the re relationship between events and the corresponding choice of passé composé or the imparfait can be illustrated as follows. So here is kind of a chart or illustration to explain the use of the imparfait and the passé composé for specific actions and progressive actions. Specific action, j'ai vu un accident. Prog uh, progressive action, pendant que j'attendais le bus, again, specific action, quand tu as téléphoné, progressive action, je regardais la télé. So this is a continuation of the chart, specific actions, j'ai observé un oiseau, a progressive action, qui chantait dans un arbre. L'imparfait et le passé composé dans la même phrase. So we have like les expressions de temps are very useful for how we're expressing the past tense. We have a preposition that is uh, followed by a noun. Pendant, that we saw in the examples uh, above, means during. It's used in an example like this. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait pendant les vacances? What did you do during uh, the vacations? We have conjunctions like pendant que, lorsque, et au, mom au moment où. Lorsque means when, and another word for it is quand, that we all know. Pendant que means while, au moment que, just as. Let's look at the examples. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait pendant que je jouais au uh, golf? What did you do as or while I was playing golf? And do you see here that we have the passé composé and the imparfait? Uh, lorsque, 
When, voilà un exemple, j'ai rencontré Paul lorsqu'il travaillait à Paris. I met Paul when he was working in Paris. So, euh, action définie, j'ai rencontré, quand il travaillait, c'est action progressive. Au moment où, just as, je suis arrivée à la gare au moment où le train partait. I arrived at the uh, train station just as the train was leaving. Let's dive deeper into the use of the passé composé and the imperfect. In talking about the past, the French use the imperfect and the passé composé. The choice of tense reflects the type of action or event that are being described. Here, are, here is a side-by-side -side comparison, imperfect versus passé composé. The imperfect expresses habitual or repeated actions, what people used to do, uh, while the passé composé uh, uh, expresses specific actions, what people did. Let's compare the examples. Le samedi soir, nous allions au ciné. So, uh, every Saturday we used to go when we have le samedi soir, means every, every Saturday evening we used to go to the cinema. Samedi dernier, last Saturday, so here we have a more specific time, um, je suis allé à un concert, I went to a concert. Uh, for l'imparfait, d'habitude, on faisait, on faisait de la planche, usually, so we have triggers for the passé composé, like le samedi soir, or for the imparfait, pardon, le samedi soir, so this is a habitual action, d'habitude, habitual action, on faisait de la planche, uh, while uh, the passé composé expresses a specific action, un jour, on a fait de la plongée. So, d'habitude, on faisait de la planche. Uh, usually, we did uh, uh, de la planche. Et un jour, suddenly, one day, we decided, on a fait de la plongée um, à voile sous-marine. De la plongée sous-marine. Now, uh, the imperfect expresses pro progressive actions. Uh, what was going on? Je me promenais sur la plage. Nous faisions du camping. I was... Uh, taking a walk on the beach, uh, we were camping. J'ai rencontré un copain. So this is, the sentence is a continuation of this one. Je me promenais sur la plage, j'ai rencontré un copain. I was walking on the beach, I met a friend. So here we can use quand, lorsque, right? The expressions of the time. Nous faisions du camping uh, lorsque nous avons vu un ours. Depending on how the speaker interprets the action, the passé composé or the imperfect may be used. Here are some examples. Hier, à 9h, nous dînions. Here is the translation. Pause and read. Hier, nous avons dîné à 9h. So here we have the same trigger, but uh, based on how the speaker interprets the action, uh, we can use either the imparfait. Here we mean yesterday at nine, we were eating dinner, or hier nous avons dîné à 9 heures, yesterday we ate dinner at nine. It depends how you're using it. What context, what are you trying to say? Tous les jours, j'allais à la plage. Every day I used to go to the beach. Tous les jours, je suis allé à la plage. Every day I went to the beach. So we come here to the end of our video where we review the l'imparfait and the use of the imparfait and the passé composé at the same time. Merci beaucoup. Don't forget to fill out the lesson notes and do the practice activities. Merci et au revoir.